So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 16 of our Portsmouth career mode and once again we have another offer for our club captain and we simply will not let this guy go. We want to keep our club captain and that's what we are going to do but now we've got the Checker Check Trophy final. It's going to be up against AFC Wimbledon and we're going to be going with our second team line out here uh, because basically well, our first team lineup needs a rest, and that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So, this is going to be the lineup we're going to be going with, and let's see how we can get on. Kabamba has just come back from loan, so he's 24 years of age. Let's go ahead and put him on the bench and see maybe we can put him on the pitch, see how he does. Come on, boys, let's see if we can pick up our first silverware of the season. Jamalo round the corner to Cal Naismith, which we are upset about him leaving. And that's why there's sour grapes and we don't want to play him that often. But we play the ball through to Brett Pittman. Pittman here is holding up the ball, which he does well. He offloads the ball back inside to Rose. Rose out wide to Cal Naismith. Is he going to be able to repay us by putting in some good performances and scoring us some goals? What about that from our centre-back? Thompson, our centre-back, has just scored a absolute beaut from outside the box. Ten minutes in, he's scored in the Checker Trade Trophy final. And what a fantastic strike it was. It fell out to him. We thought, why not let it go? And he just struck it. And that was a very good strike into the bottom corner, off the post. And we won it up. That's his first goal. Nathan Thompson, get in. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Three minutes we lasted. Three, three, three minutes. Ugh. For God's sake, they had a free run down the right hand side, and there's no one in the centre where there was, but he didn't win the ball. Thompson obviously comes across to try and block the cross, and Kennedy, you've got to be doing better than that. Jamel Lowe through to Cal Naismith, though. Cal Naismith, what is. Oh! That looked like it was going to be a simple catch for the goalkeeper, and then he had to save it at full stretch. That wasn't too far away, you know. Jamel Lowe through to the big man, Pittman. Pittman's got nowhere to go, but cuts back inside, and his agility means he takes an absolute age to turn around. Low through to Pittman, though. Pittman, oh, look at that from Pittman. Look at that from Pittman. He's hit the post. That would have been a beautiful goal. Calcedo through to Pittman, though. Pittman is in the mood now. Pittman's going to cut back inside, and Pittman's going to unleash a shot, but gets too much power on it. Calcedo, though, running at the defence, plays the ball through to Lowe. Lowe through to Naismith. Fantastic save. Oh, Laukovic wins the ball back. Through to Lowe. Lowe goes for goal. Straight at the goalkeeper. But Lowe chips the ball over the top. Can we win that one? We do. It comes through to Pittman. Pittman goes to ground. We have a penalty in the 50th minute. The number four for AFC Wimbledon. He pushed him as the referee is symboling to him. And Pittman has won ourselves a penalty kick. He's going to be the one to step up to take it. So Pittman to go to the right hand side. Oh God, we put too much power on that, haven't we? For God's sake. Kennedy, though, through to Laukovic. Laukovic with a fantastic chance. And Laukovic is repaying us because we just splashed out the cash on signing him on a new deal. He got 52 grand in his pocket. And that is what he's saying. You know what? I got 52 grand, but I'm going to score a goal for you in the final, which means you're going to get that money straight back. Fantastic from Jamal, not Jamal Lowe, from Laukovic, sorry. He cuts back inside, as you see there, lovely turn of pace, and that's a fantastic strike into the back of the net. Our number 10 has scored a goal. Jamal Lowe, oh, goes to ground. Oh, no, he's injured. And that looks like it's serious. Jamal Lowe is rolling around in pain, and they stop the game, which means that's going to be a lengthy, lengthy one for Jamal Lowe. He's holding his knee. And it looks like he could be out for the rest of the season. We're going to bring on Kabamba. We're going to bring on Godin on the left. And we're going to bring on Hawkins instead of Naismith. So we're going to make a few changes. But we're going to how, hope and pray that Jamel Lowe is not going to be out for a long time. AFC Wimbledon with a good chance. Can we get the ball clear with Ben Close through to Nathan Thompson? And now we've got the ball clear. And now Danny Rose is injured as well. Through to Pittman. Pittman back inside to Laukovic. Oh, look at this from Laukovic. He goes one way, then the other. He's run out of energy. But Laukovic cuts back inside. And then number eight comes back and wins the ball back for him. 
Rose out wide to Godin though. Godin with a good chance if he can cut back inside. He does do and then goes for goal. It gets blocked and we've got a corner kick. From the corner kick though, we're going to try and whip this in with a lot of pace. What a lot of pace that was. It comes through to Pittman and we don't know what's happening. Jack Watmore wins the ball. The goalkeeper makes a save and then he falls over. What's happening? Oh, I didn't know what was happening there. Lovely chance for AFC Wimbledon. 89th minute, you have to be kidding me. It looks like we're going to extra time. Suarez, 89th minute. For God's sake. Hawkins though, charging down this right hand side. Can we snatch a goal right at the end? Pittman dived in, but the goalkeeper come out, made the save, and it looks like we're heading to extra time. Or maybe not, it looks like the game's over. Um, so, how does that work? The game is over. Does that mean the Checker Trade Trophy goes to a replay? So there we go, Jamel Lowe suffered a broken ankle and he's going to be out of action for three months. So he's out of action for basically till the end of the season now. And we're going to have to now put another player on the bench. And that other player on the bench is probably going to be... Let's just put this Kaban, but actually Laukovic. Laukovic can go on the bench now. Um, but we're going to jump into the second and final game of this episode now, as we are going to be taking on a side in the league, and that side goes by the name of Shrewsbury. So we're going to be taking them on at Fratton Park, and we will be coming close to the transfer deadline day as well. But at the end of the day, we have no money, so transfer deadline day is going to be very boring. What about this for a chance, though, for the home side? Shrewsbury play the ball across to Morris. And Morris finds the back of the net. Nine minutes in, we find ourselves 1-0 down again. Ben Bereton here trying to get past his man. Is Ben going to be able to cut back inside the agility here? The agility, Ben. The agility, Ben. Oh, oh. I think if Ben went to ground, we probably would have won a penalty. But Stuart O'Keefe, good save. So here we go, through to Ben. Ben going one way, then the other. He's good at this. Trying to fool the defender, but the defender for Shrewsbury reads it very well. Here we go, the little man is away. The little man is away. The little man is definitely away. What a goal. Oh, what a challenge. Shrewsbury Town are just kind of shreds. They're playing football like they're Barcelona. They play the ball across. Comes through to Morris again. Morris goes for goal and... Oh my God, we're 2-0 down. Morris has scored two beautiful goals and it looked like they're like Barcelona guys. They are playing football. They're just playing tiki-taka and we're in the middle, lost. Another good chance for Shrewsbury, a go-go down the right-hand side. There's plenty of players for them in the box. They play the ball across, get the ball clear. Congolo through to Marcus Edwards. Now we can break. Marcus Edwards through to Gomez. Gomez back through to Evans. Evans gets on the end of that one. Through to Marcus Edwards. Edwards through to Bereton. They're on ultra-defensive, which is annoying. But Ben Bereton goes one way, then the other, and pulls make, or makes the goalkeeper pull off a good save. But they're on ultra defensive, and seriously, guys, you're 2 0 up. Godin, no through to Gomez. Gomez, Gomez, Gomez. Can't get through, and Morris is running the show against us here. At Evans wins that one back because we got the ball back. And just this is how frustrating it is, guys. They're on ultra bloody defensive. They're parking the bus when they're 2 0 up. Yes, they can do that, but it's a bit, come on, guys. 2 0 up, and you're still parking the bus. We play the ball through to Ben. Ben Bereton here taking on his man. Surely Ben has found the back of the net. He's given us a lifeline. So here comes Oliver Busquets. Busquets around the corner to Godin. Godin goes for goal. Goalkeeper of good save. Laukovic to win that one in the air. He does do. And then Busquets, our centre back, goes for the volley. We're on ultra attacking now. We want to try and get an equaliser. What about that though from Laukovic? He roulettes past one. Laukovic plays the ball through to Bereton but can't get on the end and please tell me that's ours please tell me oh for god's sake oh are they going to pick up their third they go for goal and they have we were out all out attack they were defending like motherfuckers oh sorry guys um and they go ahead and score the third goal frustrating so there we go the boos are ringing around the stadium as we picked up another poor result we're at home and we lost 3-1. The fans are not happy at all. However, guys, that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.